everyone, I'm going to show you how I take a drawing in my sketchbook and turn that into a digital file that I can then use in Procreate to colour or to piece together into a bigger um, illustration or pattern. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cover all those um, steps from scanning it in to editing in Photoshop to tidy it up a little bit and then how I store those files in the Creative Cloud. Um, so I briefly mentioned this on Instagram quite a while ago now, sorry about that, and um, I said I'd put together a video of how I, how I do it basically. So yeah, um, as you can see these are all my um, pieces in the Adobe Creative Cloud that I've curated over the years. Um, and I'm going to show you how I get these drawings because these are all hand drawn and um, none of them are digital. These all started out in my sketchbook and then I basically scanned them in, tidied them up in Photoshop but you can see some of them are coloured digitally. Um, and yeah, how I tidy those up and then, I don't know, I guess turn them into PNGs and store them into the Creative Cloud because basically once they're in here they're super easy to use anywhere else. You don't have to put them in the Creative Cloud if you don't want, you can simply save it as a PNG, a JPEG, anything and store them in your own way so then they're all available um, piece by piece because you know you never know when you want to create something new out of something that you already have um, or use it on something else. So some of these are from bigger drawings that I've then separated out um, and some of them are just drawn individually as you know I draw a lot of like flowers and things like that um, so anything that is in my sketchbook I sort of get into the habit of um, creating in this format too so yeah um, so first things first pick a drawing that you want to um, scan it in and we'll go from there yeah let's just scan this in Okay, now we have that scanned, I'm going to open it up in Photoshop and clean it up a bit, edit it so it's purely black and white, there's no um, little pieces around there and so the background's removed so we can layer it within a piece. But I'll show you how to do that, um, I use Photoshop so if you want to know, I'll take you along and show you at the same time. Okay, so what I'll first start with is cropping it so just the area that we want is visible so you just take it right in make sure you've got all of the image in and nothing's being cut off and there we go that's already quite a good scan um, i'm going to take that top bit off actually that's like right on the curve of the sketchbook so you can't really see it good enough it's kind of blurry so we'll just take that out we don't really need it um i'm gonna unlock this layer and I'm going to use these settings down here to adjust the black and white and I'm going to take all the colours out rather than desaturate it so it's pure black and white. So just, it's pretty much as it is anyway but just to make sure there's no random colours in there. As you can see it's a tiny, tiny bit of difference is made um, when you hide and remove that layer. It just makes it a little bit crisper. And I kind of use the colour dropper tool to sample background area to make sure it's pure white you can tell if it comes up in the hex code as a 6x um, yeah so then I'm gonna go back into this layer and use my magic wand tool I'll try the tolerance at about 30 you can adjust this if it's taken away too much of your image I'm just gonna try and select it take it away see what happens mm. yeah, that looks like it's quite tidy that should be fine there's some little bits hiding around here so we can take those out and I'm going to remove any of these bits in here that we don't need that isn't actually part of the image and this bit inside here yeah and I'm going to go back in and adjust the curves ever so slightly using these layers down here I just want blacks to be a tiny bit darker so I'm going to drag this curve down like so just this one up a tiny bit it's ever so slightly but you can see there that it's crisper and another good thing to do is to kind of add a layer behind this one and just fill it with a color and then you can see if there's any bits of dust or random bits of ink that have been picked up on the scan you can just kind of use your rubber tool to remove those 
So just kind of go around the whole piece and just tidy it up a little bit so you have nothing in there that you don't need. Let's get rid of this little bit. Like that too. Yeah, so that looks about right. So then I'm just going to take that layer away again. We don't need it. And I'm going to save this as a PNG so that it'll stay as it is with a transparent background. We don't want the white background adding back in because we don't need it for what I need it for. If you need it, then fine. Um, but I need to overlay it with different things and we don't want a white box around it. So I'm just going to go to File, Save As. And just save it as a bubble again. I'm just going to overlay it because I'm not going to need that scan again. Let's replace it. And I want it to be the highest quality. Save. Okay, and a good thing that I've been getting in the practice of doing is keeping everything in my cloud. So then when I, especially when I'm doing things on my iPad, I can kind of go into the iPad and it's there. Um, and I can just use it on there as well. It's really handy. And between all the different apps and Adobe, all linked together. So what I'm going to do is merge these down so that's all one image because it'll just take the layer that you drag into then forget all the bits that you've put on top so now that this is one thing we're going to drag it into here and call it bauble so then when i come to do the picture on my ipad it's there ready to use all right so let's go into the creative cloud app <laughs> Ah, yay, there it is. Cool, so we can then, if you want to put it in Procreate, for example, if that's where you're doing things, you can just press this little icon down here and either save it or copy the image and um, yeah, just paste it into Procreate and use it however you like. If you like this video, please subscribe to let me know that you'd like to see some more. Give it a little thumbs up, that'd be great. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully see you soon.